Hello everyone, welcome to my review of my Color 8 Alden Cap Toe Boots. Uh, this is the model from J. Crew, and it's slightly different from the pictures and I'll tell you why in a second, but uh, I've had these for four years now. I got them around the same time as I got my first indie boots. Uh, you can see I got the olive laces on there from, from Guarded Goods. Yeah, th th this is a real nice makeup. I, this was what I would consider my first, quote, everything boot. Like this boot, I bought this boot to do everything and it, and it does. It can be easily worn and executed with a suit. It can just as easily go with denims, slacks, khakis, literally everything. Any, everything except for shorts. I wouldn't wear, the, <laughs> wouldn't wear these with shorts, but everything else goes. So again, so so these are uh, these are shell cordovan horse butt leather in the traditional Alden color eight burgundy, sometimes referred to as eggplant. This is the most non-porous leather in the world, um, and I have a funny story. I'll I'll tell that in a second. Um, basically, the, these are waterproof. These are built on the very last, and so it's it's a nice generous fit runs about a half size large now being that this is one of my first pairs of Aldens I did not size down in these I I'm typically on true balance and Barry I'm an eight and a half but I actually went with the nines in this reason being is I read somewhere on the internet someone wrote on the internet that uh, that shell cordovan does not stretch at all and therefore you should take that in cons into consideration when sizing. I thought that was really interesting and I could I could tell you that there is some veracity to that. Now I think that I probably would have been just as good with eight and a halfs but uh, the nines I will say they, they're comfortable, they, remind, they remain comfortable, they fit me just fine. My foot has a lot of room, it's a very generous fit. Uh, you know my foot doesn't flop around or anything like that but uh, I have another buddy he bought his he sized the half size down to his, and he was complaining that his foot hurt right here for some reason. Now, he, he also owned Alden Indie Boots on the True Balance last, and he said, you know, his, his Indie Boots never hurt, the Chrome XL ones. They broke in really fast, but he said that his shell cord of on very last cap toes from G-Crew kind of hurt a little bit, but other than that, they were fine. So. I don't know what to say in terms of sizing on Shell Cordovan. It's really, uh, it's really a subjective. It, it's tough because this is about a half inch longer than my other boots. It does not bother me, but it's just something to consider. I probably would have been best ordering an eight and a half E, like an E width, but but J Crew doesn't offer that. But anyways, um, I did have these modified. There is a man named Randy, Randy the Cobbler. I sent these into him, uh, I want to say a couple years ago, and he charged me a very light fee. He did a couple different things, and I've talked about this on my Instagram, so sorry for those of you who already know this, <laughs> but uh, he, he antiqued my soles. These soles used to be black. And what he did is he, he got all the black paint off, and he, he put a nice, a nice dark cherry finish on there um, to, to, to make them more antique, to make them a little less formal looking because, you know, just the, the, the black against this, I, I don't feel brings out the color very well. It's, it's just my personal preference. I, I like to have an in, antique sole. I've always been a fan of antique soles. I've always found them very eye-catching and beautiful. And so I had him antique the soles here. I also had him replace these eyelets. These eyelets used to just be brown. And again, and again, not eye-catching at all, just blended in very well with the boot. And if that's what you're going for, then good. But in my case, I wanted it to stand out just a little bit. So uh, what I did was I told him, yeah, yeah, change those out for gold. Uh, I was originally going to tell him to change these out for brass. But then somebody on Style Forum, forum in, uh, messaged me. He said, no, don't do brass because brass is just going to be a slightly lighter than the, than the brown. He said, do the gold. The gold will give it that nice piercing look. And he was totally correct. He was, he was totally correct. I'm really happy I went with gold on that. So yeah, and I gotta say, I love his work.
I would not entrust this job to just any cobbler. Uh, this is a job meant for somebody who's who's worked with higher end boots before. Uh, Randy the cobbler, he was really uh, personable. We texted back and forth a lot. I actually taught him a few things about Alden, and he taught me a ton of stuff about just cobblering and and the art involved and, and just a really nice guy uh, and like I said if, if you have a uh, if you have a modification you're looking to do on any of your higher end boots Alden Viberg if you want to get like the eyelets changed out for a different color he can antique the sole he can he can obviously resole install probably commando soles if you want to do something like that um, he could do all that um, as you can see I also have that Vibram <laughs> protective cover on on this pair too. These originally, this is the pair that originally I walked on for about a year and a half before I had this installed. And uh, like I said, leather soles hold up just fine. They're not gonna they're not gonna die on you anytime quick, you know. But uh, I think they I think they turned out just stunning, and they're even they're now even more versatile than they were when I got them. Because when I got them, they did have a dressier look. And I just have a hard time looking down when I'm wearing jeans and just seeing a dress shoe. I don't, that's, that's my personal experience. I don't typically wear wingtips with like dark denims. I, I'm just not that, it's just not my style. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. But I like to see some more color when I look down when I'm wearing something casually. And that these, these help me uh, accomplish that. I had to get out of, out of the cold. It's 20 degrees outside, and my my hands are freezing freezing my butt off out there. I was saying, so I have a I have a kind of a cool story about these. Um, so I, I had just gotten these, and um, I, I was I was in the I was in the neighborhood of Alden of DC, and I noticed that I started to have a little bit of a, a little bit of separation on the sole. Not not a big deal at all, but I decided to pay. Uh, I believe her name is Kathy at Alden of DC. Yeah, because I, I bought my indie boots from her, but both my 403 and my 405, I bought those at the Alden of DC from, from her directly. And uh, so she was really nice, really a professional lady, really believed in what she does. And what she did was, um, she, she, just, she, she told me like, if you ever have any issues with the boots, bring them in. So, so I, I showed up with these and they were in my, bag I wasn't wearing them because I wanted her to look at the sole and what I <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing I, uh, I, I was wearing a pair of, of Clark's and it was it was just storming outside it was it was downpouring uh, just sleet and snow it was icy it was horrible I said uh, yeah I want to you know this this is a really expensive pair of boots I want to protect my investment you know I don't want to wear it out in that in that nasty weather and this is like a big turning point in my perspective on how to wear these. She said, uh, all right, I'm gonna fix up your soul here, soul here, and then you're gonna walk out of this store with these on. <laughs> I followed her instructions to the T. Let me tell you what, I walked, I walked, after I left her shop, I walked two and a half miles in that weather again. My feet were completely dry. It was unreal. I've never walked in weather like that and felt like my feet were impervious to the outside elements. It was it was truly unreal. It was getting rained on, sleeted on, you know, the, they were they were soaking wet, and yet they were just looking back up at me and smiling. Like that's their element. These things are meant to be worn in the rain. Like I call these my rain boots. You know, people think of rain boots as those big rubber you know abominations that you know. Oh, you only wear those in the rain when. No, no, these are rain, these here are rain boots. Like I said, this is the most non-porous leather in the world. And you don't really know what that means until you walk around in the, in the pouring rain in a pair of these. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I was, I was a convert from that moment on. Whenever it's raining, I, I reach for these because I know that these above anything else can take it. These are very durable. I mean, 
shell is a good description of these because these are shells. These are these are resistant to weather, to moisture. They're just so they're so durable, and you could just, and like I said, they don't stretch. They they crease, but they do not stretch. These feel the same as the day I bought these. Shell Cordovan's truly an amazing leather. I, I'm, I'm truly impressed by these. I see why they cost what they do. Um, and I'll read what uh, the description has on the website. Um, so they say this is a handcrafted masterpiece from Alden, the New England based icon of old school American shoemaking. It's been around since 1884. Um, this is built in, made with genuine Horween shell cordovan number eight leather. Uh, yeah, num number eight's the color, color eight's the color. Um, known for its shiny finish, durability, and flexibility. It's vegetable tan for six months um, at Horween. They feature all of Alden's ha hallmark details, including its famed Goodyear welt, which means they can be resold again and again to last a lifetime. And it's a 270 degree Goodyear welt, so it stops at the heel. There's no more, there's no more stitching at the heel. I went more into, in depth into that in my vintage indie boot review. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I've swapped out the laces on these a few times. I actually had rawhide laces on these for a long time, and they look fantastic on these. But I ended up, I'm just so in love with these olive, these olive color color laces. I, I just I love that military World War II vintage look that they give <laughs> a lot of my boots. So I'm trying these out for a while. Um, I don't know if I'll switch back to something else after after a while, but but for for now the the all of our are here to stay. Um, please let me know in the comments if if you have any if you have any uh, um, ideas about that. But overall, uh, these boots do mean a lot to me. Uh, I wore these to my grandfather's funeral a couple of years back. Um, I'm, I'm gonna keep these for a lifetime. I'm gonna take care of these, they're gonna take care of me. This is something, it's an investment, but but dang. It, this, this is something, even on the, on the J. Crew website, it's got how many reviews? It has 27 reviews and it's ranked almost a full five stars. I hate to say if you're gonna get one pair of boots, get these. But I will say, if you're gonna get one pair of boots, get these. <laughs> they are so versatile. You can see it right here. They're dressy and informal at the same time. It, truly an iconic piece of footwear. And uh, and if if you are gonna get one boot, and get this, I've 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 run in these before. I've I've run through the woods in these before. I've played soccer in these done everything in these look how good they look you know to show me a pair of sneakers that that will look that good after that much wear I mean four years in these going on five and uh, yeah me and these boots have a good bond and and so so the, like I said these are here to stay in my collection I, I love my other boots but but th these have a very sentimental um, meaning to me so anyways I hope you enjoyed this I hope you found it informative you know, uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram um, if you haven't already, because you can see these from the beginning, and I'll be sure to post uh, some pictures on this. I include some of my older pictures in this video so that you can see how these have evolved over time. Be on on Instagram, uh, and and you can see my whole collection on there if you like. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope you found it informative. Thank you.